Pharaoh queens, the sun is shining up from the east. We speak compassion, we act out love. Seven thousand islands, we rise above, we rise above. This is how it will work. One by one, the candidates will be presented each with a random photo taken during the COVID-19 pandemic. Each candidate will be given 30 seconds on stage. I repeat, 30 seconds on stage to describe the photo related to herself and deliver a message of hope. Now this challenge will also serve as a mentorship session to help our candidates feel comfortable on stage during the Q&A round come coronation night. So, to give his valuable critique and guidance in this exercise, we are joined today by an excellent public speaker and a multi-awarded TV host. Ladies and gentlemen, please let us welcome the King of Talk, Mr. Boy Abunda. and a beauty queen. Thank you, uh, good afternoon, and welcome to this very special session, your Q&A session, otherwise known as how to get away with the Q&A, or murder if you want. <laughs> um, I'm glad to be here, and uh, you know exactly what's gonna happen, and I don't wanna waste time, let's begin. All right, thank you very much. Our special guest will be listening to all the statements of our candidates and will be giving his advice to them afterwards. Now, let us begin the free speech round with our first batch of Beanie Beanies, starting with Samantha Alexandra Panilio from Cavite, Beanie Beanie 1. Looking at this photo, it reminds me that we need to fix uh, Mother Nature and we have to be more aware about pollution nowadays. During the pandemic, I was able to take a step back and realize that we actually live in a community where we don't really practice a lot of sustainable ways. And this is actually my advocacy as well. And this is something that I definitely want to focus on so that people can uh, make more and take more initiative towards making this earth a sustainable world. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. And from Marikina, Bini Bini 2, Lois and Badando.
from the image that I see, it can depict staying at home. Speaking from the perspective of a medical practitioner, we appreciate every effort of the individuals who do stay at home because you're not only saving your life, you're also saving other people's life. And we should continue to do so because this will be able to protect us and help eradicate COVID-19. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Lois Ann from Marikina. And now let's hear this Bini Bini from Manila, Patricia Mariah Garcia, Bini Bini 3. Hi. Tourism industry is one of the biggest industries that has been affected by the pandemic. And I believe that around 4.8 million of Filipinos lost their job due to this affected, affected industry. Seeing this beach makes me feel nostalgic because I personally love to go to beaches and I just hope that we recover once we, re we recover the tourism industry as the Filipinos get vaccinated every day. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bini Bini 3. And from Pampanga, Arian Desiree Viardo, Bini Bini 4. Seeing the, these pictures makes me realize that this kid is really determined to study even if the world is really stopping us from achieving our dreams. But despite that, she, he has that eagerness to still study and to pursue her, his dreams and make sure that um, everyone is being um, inspired and um, being or feeling the um, willingness and the... Um, to, sorry, um, to further um, go through and to further follow their education and be someone in the future. Thank you. All right. Thank you, too. And now let's make way for Bini Bini 5, Princess Kian Guanzon from Occidental Mindoro. Transportation has always been a problem in the Philippines. That is why it's given that we need to give emphasis on the governmental policies on how we can fix this problem because all, almost all the Filipinos are commuters. We are struggling because of this and that's why we need to do our part, be responsible. Now, this pandemic, we need to follow safety protocols while we commute and we go to our work to survive. So yeah, thank you very much. All right, thank you too. And let's call back the ladies. Samantha, Lois, Patricia, Ariane, and Kian. Okay, hi girls. Uh, where do we begin? <laughs> where do we begin? I'd like to start with... Um, I'd like to start with... Uh, Miss... Occidental Mindoro, okay? Um, can you go back to the answer, please? We can't do much because we're just doing a clinic, okay? Yeah, please. Uh, more or less, what, what did you want to say? I want to say that the transportation problem, computing problem has always been a problem in the Philippines, okay. especially in the NCR. Right. That is why we need to um, do our part and, you know, uh, given the fact, um, emphasis on policy and how can we fix this problem? Because it's been a problem for the, almost all the years. So being a responsible commuter, computer, a uh, computer, commuter, and actually um, asking for the government okay, to God. give us more public. Uh, you have to check on this, okay? It's the, mm, it's a, mm, you know, a couple of seconds of staying on stage and saying, uh, uh, mm, I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry, people will laugh, people will, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a cruel audience, but also very nice. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's uh, too much expectations during the Q&A. It's an artificial space, you know, it's, uh, you, you're in front of the multitude and you know that people are watching, etc., etc. So, um, you were bothered a bit because you were trying to contain so many things. You were trying to express a lot of things within 30 seconds. Girls, within 30 seconds, we do not expect you to do a biblical story. So, 
What am I trying to say? I'm okay with templated answers because these are regular, these are uh, common answers that you usually uh, that you usually give to certain questions. But templated answers should be uh, should be pushed towards what is real and what is easy. You may do less. May do less. Listen to the question. It's very important. Listen to the question. And girls, this is not a master of thesis defense. Okay? Uh, the longer answers are not tantamount to beautiful answers. L- let, me, let me ask you this. Now that you're more relaxed, Binibini, I'm sorry, do you allow the girls in the pageant to be Taglish, to, to speak in Taglish? Girls, speak in the language of convenience. Okay, huwag magpumilit. Huwag magpumilit. We'll do another training for Miss International. Don't worry. Uh, sometimes it's excruciatingly painful to listen to someone na nagpupumilit mag-ingles eh hindi naman maitawid. Alright? When uh, you answer and then you lose a beat because, this is a tip, when you lose a beat, uh, a beat don't say sorry. That audience is not forgiving. Take some time. Two, three seconds. And it, it is necessary that you girls read. Like there's a saying, there's a beautiful saying, staying home is staying safe. Hindi kalaban. Akavite, uh, Mother Nature, sustainable. You got into that whole discourse, which is fine. Which is fine to me. But where was hope? Okay, where was hope? When people say, relax, the more you're not relaxed. My only note there was... Uh, There was no hope. You talked about sustainable, etc. And you talked about our responsibility to be part of taking care of Mother Nature. I like, I like, personally as a judge, when I judge Bini Contest, and I've judged a number of times, Bini Bini Pilipinas, bring it to the personal. I like it. You know, um, who was I training? Anything that has nothing to do with the environment, for example. This is just an example. If you want, do your, do your, uh, Beauty with a heart. You know, because you have to end strong. Whatever you say, end strong. End strong and sound right. Thank you. Thank you, girls. Go. Did you learn something? Good, okay. All right, thank you very much, Bini Bini Swan to Five. And now let's move on Mm. with our Bini Bini from Kalookan, Shannon Tampon. All I can say in this picture is an alfresco dining here in Araneta City. Actually, I love eating out. I love uh, experiencing new things with my friends. And during the lockdown, I believe na maraming sa atin sa mga restaurants natin na nag-close and we only have to do is dine in sa bahay. Takeouts maybe. But also I remembered hindi lang ako yung nahihirapan with that situation. But also those people in the food industry, especially people that serves serves us, like the waiters, the guards, because we know na medyo nabawasan din sila ng workplace. And seeing an alfresco dining, it made us realize that we're trying to improve. We're improving every day. It's just, we are in the midst of pandemic and we have to take cautions about it and realize that We still have to follow health protocols in life. And I hope that in the future, once this pandemic ha- uh, finished, when this pandemic is finished, we will be back in our normal days and have a lot of people regain their work. I, I'm okay. I'm really okay. Um, just work on your phraseology, Ms. Kalookan. Yeah. I'm really okay. Like, I like the way you began. Uh, I, 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 I love dining out. I wanted you to bring it back there. I know one day, I know one day, I'll be back there and have fun again with my family. It's nice to personalize it, okay? But I like this whole discussion. Ang delikado lang sa akin is when you start to do a discourse na medyo malayo, yeah. na ang daming na, pero alam mo, magandang point yun eh. Yung uh, workers, you know, etc., etc. But it's dangerous because you can get lost. Yeah, in the long run. You, did you realize yeah, that? Yeah. Very good. Let's go to the next. <laughs> All right, right now, let's say hello to Meiji Cruz, BDBD7 from Valenzuela. Hi, everyone. Hi, Tito Boy. Hello. 
So here, my picture is a teacher having her online classes. First of all, I acknowledge the hardships of the teachers who are, who are trying to cope with technology. And I am grateful for everyone who's trying their best. And I hope that the government can provide us, can help us um, our life easier with our technology, with the source of connection in regarding in, in internet. And I hope this is an inspiration to all of us that we are all trying, we are all coping, and together we will heal. Thank you. Okay, I like it, um, except that again, very nice. Um, learn, learn just how to make it more beautiful. If I were to answer that question, I'll bring it to my person, uh, personal story. Okay, let's go to the next one. All right, thank you very much. Patricia Denise Babista from Quezon Province, Bini Bini 8. I am a sports lover myself and I could remember myself being really excited to watch a game by the court side. And this pandemic, that experience might be put on hold, but I am thankful to technology that we are allowed to still feel this connection and this excitement through esports. Mm. Okay, J just end it strong. Just give me a line that ends strong about hope, about going back to the side court. Go. And I can imagine myself going back to the side court one day and feel that excitement again. That's good, but you're sad. <laughs> but you're sad. I, 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 that's good, you know. It's again personal, you brought it there, and then one day, because she's not very happy. When you, you, when you, when you answer a question, Sabi ko nga, feel confident. Feel confidence is defined as the absence of doubt. Mm. Okay? It's not, confidence is not about being right in Q&A. It's the absence of doubt. You, you, you get it? So when you speak, speak with confidence. All right? Thank you. All right, thank you. And next, we have Shaira Marie Rona from Andaluyong Binibini 9. Hi everyone, hi Tito Boy. Hello. As we've seen in the photo is the face shield, which is the necessity during this time of uncertainty. Personally, face shield is a simple item, but when combined with action, it can actually save lives. Thank you. That's good, except that if I were a judge, I would have reacted why you didn't notice the flag, the mask, okay? And then, uh, Ms. Vandaluyong, my problem with the face shield, if you have to go the route or route, is it very controversial? Yeah. Isko Moreno wants it out, other politicians want it out. And, uh, and now, if, you're, if your whole discourse is about why it is important, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the, the, the context of your answer, therefore, is you know, what it does and what it does. But it can only be effective if you have a mask. So you have to be very careful. Yes. Uh oh. And again, when you look at a photo, take your time. One, two, three seconds. And go to your heart. What are you reacting? Diba? So what am I trying to say? An exercise mo, Ms. Mandaluyong, is if this is gonna be happening, look at something. How do you react? Look at the table. Anong unang, anong unang mong reaksyon pag nakita mo to? It's round. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. It's round. And then after, the, after it being round, what else do you want to say about it? It actually symbolizes our life, that our life is continuous. Nakita niyo yung pagkakaiba? When you're not prepared, it's round. Even the way you say it. <laughs> and it's actually like our life. Umiikot. It's continuous. It doesn't end. It's, it's infinite. Yun yun. Diba? Thank you. Thank you, Tito Bo. All right. Thank you very much. And we have Binibini 10 from Batangas, Maureen and Montaigne. <laughs> we see a man getting 
getting vaccinated and our healthcare workers. And I think this is a beautiful image. This is a powerful, relevant image to our time. I myself was fully vaccinated here in QC. And I think it's one of those key steps to healing and to overcoming COVID. And I encourage everyone to keep practicing our safety protocols to get vaccinated, to reach out to your local barangay, to your city, and to reach out and fully use your resources because together we can defeat this virus. Thank you. I like it. Very lang, simple. I like it. Did you feel good about your answer? I feel good and I'm so happy that Bini Bining was actually able to help us get vaccinated. So thank you, Bini Bining. <laughs> that should have been good if you put it in. Ganda nun. Ganda nun. But I, I was happy with your answer, but that, see, after the answer, Bini Bini actually helped us get vaccinated. When you do the Q&A, uh, when you do the Q&A, there are one sources. You either react via instinct. What is instinct? It's your verbal reaction. Hindi ka nag To a verbal stimulus or to a visual stimulus. Ikaw may iba kang kwento, may iba kang kwento. We have different stories. That's your instinct. Uh, as a matter of fact, it doesn't make sense. It's trained instinct. Meron naman tayong pinaghuhugutan. Like uh, Miss Batangas kanina was being rational, reasonable. So you react to a photo, you react to a word using reason. Get it? You know, I see the photo, nagra-rationalize ka. Okay? Ang, ang instinctive reaction dyan, ang instinctive reaction yan ay nasasaktang kaya si Lolo, hindi ko makita ang mukha. Oo. Dahil, um, oo nga, nakamask, but I'm really happy that Lolo went for vaccination. Ako, when I got vaccinated, I was so worried. Hindi ko alam anong reaction. Binabantayan ko ang sarili ko. After 30 minutes, after an hour, ano na ba ang reaction ko? May lagnat ba? Or uubuhin ba ako? I was so paranoid. But I'm really glad I went for vaccination. Thank you, Binibini. I've had two doses of the vaccine. And I'm really hoping, ganun, that, that whole narrative. Okay? But don't overdo. Don't over... Girls, don't overthink. Don't overthink. You know, the questions are answerable. Otherwise, they're not questions. The photos are describable. Otherwise, they're not photos. Thank you, Ms. Matanga. Thank you so much. All right. All right. Thank you very much. And moving right along, we have Binibini 11, Bianca Luis Marcelo from Bokawe, Bulacan. Hi, everyone. And hi, Tito Boy. Hello. What I see on the screen is a community pantry, and I also did this during the quarantine. And it is very close to my heart because this is also my advocacy, because I am really passionate about inequality. I feel the gap between the privileged and the underprivileged. That is the main reason why I advocate for hunger problems, because I believe that no man can be wise on an empty stomach. Thank you. Beautiful. I love the ending. I love the ending, except that you have to say it with a little more clarity. Give me the last line. No man can be wise on an empty stomach. Simplify that. No, no man. For example, no man yeah. should ever go hungry. Yeah. That, that, that's more emotional. Because yes. when you put Rather in the what I said. right, yeah. because when you put in the wise man, it becomes a, a saying. Yeah. You know, but when you say this is because everything was perfect, mm -hmm. this is my advocacy, etc., etc., you end it strong by saying because I believe no be that hungry. no man should be hungry, should go, should go hungry, should go hungry. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Diba? Ang, 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 ano yung, uh, rather than no wise man, yeah. it, 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 no be, man can be wise. Yeah, that's what. I'm, yeah. But now we're not talking about wisdom. Yes. We're talking about survival. Oh, we're, we're talking about survival. I like the way you ended it, but because you know, uh, when 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 you talked about your advocacy on hunger, that, that whole line of I really believe that no man should go hungry. Yes. Mm -mm. Should go hungry. Thank you. Thank you. C can you say that last line again? No man should go hungry. Thank you. Stronger. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Tito Boy. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. And. Next in line, we have our Binibini from Cagayan de Oro, Misamis Oriental, Cindy Faye Obenita, Binibini 12. Hi, everyone. 
COVID-19 has definitely exposed the risk of our destructive relationship with the natural world. And on screen, we see a photo of a healthcare facility. That for me is a reflection of our vulnerabilities on community care while we desire to be more protected. Bottom line is that we should never undermine the power of science and its power to heal and definitely the power of care to nurture life. Patuloy po tayong lalaban para sa bayan and para sa kapamilya. I'm, I'm fine with that, but it's so templated. Uh, I'm fine with that and you did it very well, but how dare you ignore the old woman? Look at the photo and tell me how you re react to the photo. Because uh, uh, Miss Cagayan, uh, Cagayan, Cagayan, yeah. my lovely Cagayan de Oro. My my thing here is, if I were to judge, sounded very well, but are you talking about the photo in front of you? Go go to the photo, yeah. Go to the photo. Go to the photo. I, but, you, but you know what I like about you? You took time to look at it, and. If you're given a photo association exercise, do not be afraid to say you're not sure, but react with certainty. Girls, do not be afraid to say, I'm not sure if I'm looking at this correctly, but this is how I'm reacting to it. Doon kayo sigurado. Oh, sayang eh. Powerful image of the old woman. Thank you, Ms. Cagayan de Oro. Thank you very much, Cindy Faye Obenita. Right now, we have our Bini Bini from Laguna, Bini Bini 13, Alexandra yeah. May Rosales. Hi, Tito Boy. Hello. What I can see in the photo is a woman embracing herself and I see myself to her because I have experienced a lot of bullying when I was younger and because of joining beauty pageants and being specifically in Binibini I was able to embrace all my imperfections in life and I am very happy that I have surpassed that circumstances and now I'm as confident as ever and I will be a and I will forever be grateful for that. Thank you. I, I love that, except that uh, you didn't talk about the pandemic and the hope. Diba? Oh, yun lang, hope bawawala about the pandemic. And you have to make sure that you explain it very well. I see a young woman who's embracing herself, you're right, adventurous, who has control over her body. You know, I mean, it takes a lot of, uh, it, ta it takes a lot of uh, kutspa and uh, a lot of, a lot of style for a woman to actually express herself that way. The confidence is good, etc. Uh, but where is the, you know how you connected to the pandemic? Parang, you know, with the pandemic, I think we've been given a chance to really get to know ourselves better. To improve our physique? No, it's like to express. We have become more adventurous. We have become more real to ourselves. In the past, I was afraid to do my nose, whatever. It's a, today, I'm more connected to myself. Girls, isang ano lang, baka makalimutan ko. Ba, maaari ang tanong niyo, Tito Boy, how do I handle nerves? Pag kinakabahan ako. Kasi di ba, now it's easier because tayo-tayo lang. How do I handle nerves? How do I handle uh, being nervous? First, you have to know that it is normal to be nervous. It is. It is normal. So do, do, don't panic. You're okay. I'm, I'm fidgety. I'm okay. Pag nininervyos ka pa naman, ang naapektuhan, pandinig. Kung saan ka napupunta, because what you hear so, sometimes is not what the question is. All right? Minsan na naapektuhan ang pananaw. But senses are affected. Am I making sense? Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Right now, we have Justin Beatrice Felizarda from Adana Davao del Sur. Bini Bini 14.
Hello everyone. Hello Tito Boy. Hello. In this photo, I do feel quite sad because this is not the normal way of giving birth to a child. But because of the uncertainties that this, this pandemic has given us, I am appreciative of our professional healthcare workers who have stepped up and had the courage to do this for people who don't have the luxury to go to hospitals. And I myself have family members who are struggling to just get into hospital. And if there was a person like this to approach us, I would be eternally grateful. And in this pandemic, I always thought we could either spread fear or be the light that everyone's, everyone wants to see. And this is exactly what I'm seeing here. Thank you. I'm fine. Except that in the beginning, the first line, this is a photo uh, that Go again to the first line. It can be a better, uh, there can be a better line. You talked about how you feel when you see this photo, say it. That, that's powerful. You know, looking at this photo makes me angry, makes me sad. It, 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 it colors it. Because the, the, the whole, you know, I didn't end it strong. Again, when you end it strong, merong effect yung tonal pattern. Go up, go up, uh, talk about the light, etc., etc. I'm okay. I'm okay with that. But you have to be very clear about looking at this photo makes me cry. Uh, begin strong, end strong. Thank, Thank you. you. And next, we have our lady from Iloilo, Karen Laurie Mendoza, Bini Bini 15. Hello everyone, good afternoon. Hello Tito Boy. Hello. What I see in this picture is actually my cousin. During this pandemic, I've spent a lot of time with my cousin and she has three kids. So I actually help um, giving them education because it's so hard to teach with three kids, especially that they're all young, they're all toddlers. So I appreciate the efforts of um, moms, especially single moms during this pandemic. And I just want to say that even during these times, we should never give up on our dreams, especially for our children. Thank you. Very good. Uh, you know, girls, what I like about it is because Miss Ilo Ilo is telling me just the story. And which should, I like the end, which is very, very strong. I like the way you put it to your story. I actually have a cousin, it's actually me. I like that whole, it colors that whole thing. You, you, you girls are picking it up. Thank you. Thank you, Paula. Salama. Thank you very much. Ganda. Karen, Lori, Mendoza, Bilibili 15. And now, it's no. Kim and Tikas Tikas from Balagtas, Bulacan. Magandang araw po. Saying this picture gives me ghost bumps because it makes me realize that we Filipinos help each other, most especially during this pandemic. I, myself, and my family struggled a lot in terms of our living, which pushed me to sell street food so I can help in my family's survival. And I know that we Filipinos are determined and we will all stand up, rise above all adversities and trials, because no pandemic could ever stop us from preaching our dreams in life. Thank you. I like it. Uh, I, I like it. I like your beginning. The first half was really strong. Ganda, lalo na nung dinala mo sa sarili mo. Oo, kaming pamilya nag struggle but we are determined. You pronounce it determined. Uh, we're determined, etc. Your end is templated. Because you know why? You can go back to the, you can go back to the helping each other. You can go back to food. You can go back. Ang ganda nung umpisa, uh, iha. The first, the first part, really strong it is really real so how do you end an answer like that you go back to this you go back to this that um um wow there, there are many ways of ending an answer like that um ma 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 malalim ito ha? but just as a technique ganda ganda kasi nung sagot ng first part and you end it with uh Helping, and I will do anything, etc. Um, uh, 
But this is my, it's President Clinton actually who said, it is only in giving, it is only in giving that we will actually survive. Because that's the whole image, so it's only in giving that we will survive as a, as, as humankind. Pero yun, uh, maganda yung umpisa. Uh, you, you brought it to yourself. Ganda. Salamat. Thank you very much, Kim and Tikes Tikes. May award ba na and... best in Q&A? <laughs> Bilibini17 from Asbate, Hannah Arnold. This photo represents my weekly life. <laughs> I connect with family, my trainers, and even strangers in Zoom meetings. This has been a wonderful tool during this pandemic. Even students are utilizing Zoom. And even though we are physically distanced, we are still socially connected. And I know that one day we will walk away from the screens and we will enjoy our life and journeys together. But meanwhile, no, I, I love I, I love it. But you know, it would have been nice if you ended it with, but meanwhile, Let's zoom. <laughs> I mean, again, uh, beautiful. I mean, I love the answer. Again, you now, you now you're getting it. You're getting to be more personal. But sense of humor is nice. Okay? Uh, the world, the universe, rather. Um, but it's nice. It's nice. Okay? Uh, let go. Uh oh. Uh, words back is. Diba? So laugh. But that was a nice answer. I, I, I really loved it. And then we're going to walk up because the, the serious discussion to this is one day we'll be able to blend. We'll be able to Zoom. We'll be able to meet each other. But I loved it when you said, yeah, I mean, you know, we'll walk away from the screens and we will smile again. But it's nice. But meanwhile, in the middle of the pandemic, let's Zoom. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Thank you very much, Hannah. And we have Ruth Erica Quinn from Nueva Ecija, Bini Bini 18. This is a visual representation of us going back to our faith in the faces of, of adversity. I myself is actually guilty because in the past month that I am um, getting out of my faith because of my old habits and then something bad happened, a great adversity and then it made me <laughs> go back to my faith. And I, I experienced a lot this past month but I realized that when you go back to the Lord our God, um, He will never fail us. And when I start going back and praying again every day, uh, every good things happen. And I believe it is because of Him. And I'm more than happy now to say that I am back on my faith. Uh, once I was lost and now I am back. Thank you. You recover. Girls, when you become emotional, When you become emotional, be emotional. But just don't overcry. Uh, you lose your 30 seconds. When you're emotional, go for it. That, that, that really happens. Um, the beginning was a bit wobbly. Uh oh, but I like the way you ended it. Remember, girls, another tip. Judges, remember the last one. Remember this. Judges, remember. <laughs> Not all. Pero ang naalala ng judges at ng tao. Thank you. And from Borongan, Eastern Samar, Gabriel Camille Bashano, Bini Bini 19. Hi, good evening everyone. Oh, bye, man. Oh, bye. <laughs> um, this photo shows a new family, a happy family actually. During this time of pandemic, it was really hard for us to reconnect with our family and even to, fight, to find a partner because we were just inside our house. But this photo gives us hope that we can always welcome new beginnings in our life and that 
This pandemic is just a test of will, faith, and determination. And we should always have patience with us. We should just cooperate for this pandemic to end. And of course, lastly, to have a strong faith. Because I know that we will win this battle together. And in this pandemic, love wins. What a wonderful ending. You know, but what I like about this is, um, <laughs> you know, uh, it was very difficult to find partners in the pandemic because we were, you know, we were just limited in, 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 into our homes. But you know, we can also make babies inside the home. <laughs> but very nice, very nice. But don't forget, don't forget to personalize it. Uh, that, that's why it's effective. Personalize it. Bring it to bring it back to your story. Bring it back to your story. I know that some of you might say, Pero Tito Boy, I'm projecting to a judge. I'm projecting to an audience. The best way to project to a judge, the best way to project to an audience, is tell your story. Oh, dami yes. tato mga story ah. Balikan lang tato mga story. I can imagine, you know, um, yeah, but uh, sense of humor, but you, you got it right. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Salamat. Thank you very much, Gabriel. And we have lovely Mercado from Isabella Rojas, or Rojas Isabella, Binibini 20. Hello, Tito Boy. Hello. COVID-19 brought us challenges, sacrifices, and of course, changes in our life. But these photos symbolizes the love that no matter what happened, no matter what struggles in life, is we need to have this kind of photo where it, you need to love yourself. And it is this something that it is gathering. Um, marami po sa atin na gusto na magpakasal, pero we have limited the situation because the pandemic. And this photo symbolizes the love. Your answer was good starting with we can get married. Ako alam mo, di ko alam kung papayagan kayo. Pero if I were to react to this, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Nakakatawa, di ba? No, but I, I, I like it. But you know, this is about, this is about, it's nice, right? I mean, kissing in masks, getting married during the pandemic. But what is this? It's about adapting. Now we can get married in the middle of the pandemic. This is about resilience. You know, uh, and then I like the end. Love has no limits. Not even this virus can defeat love. Alam mo pero gusto ko rin yung pumunta ka na magtagalog. Yung language of convenience is very important. You have to go to your language of convenience. Kung saan ka komportable, puntahan mo. And again, ah, end strong, end strong. Um, walang makakapigil sa dalawang taong nagmamahalan. Di ba? When you describe a photo, when you answer a question, di ba yung ang dami-dami mong iniisip? Dami-dami mong, go to your instinct. What's the first thing? Uh, huwag yung, ay baka mali yung aking unang sasabi. Hindi, you have no time. You have no time. Trust your instinct. Sabi nga ng mga bagets, trust the process. Trust your instinct. Pinaghandaan mo ito eh. Hindi yung, may sagot ako dyan. Asan, ano ba yun? Na, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. React to the, to the visuals. You can't go wrong. You know why? Uulit-ulitin ko yan. You own your feelings. You own your story. Nobody can be better than you. Ikaw yun. Kwento mo yun. Get it? Thank you. Thank you. Maraming salamat, lovely Mercado, and from La Union, Karina Carino, Bini Bini 21. Seeing this photo makes me excited because it gives us that sense of normalcy. It's something that is important to me as well. Being an avid fan of K-pop and even P-pop, I really appreciate seeing online events still boom during this pandemic. I hope that this serves as a reminder for us that things are never cancelled. We can still continue to enjoy life while we are in the crisis. Thank you. Punctuated with the I love you in Korean. 
Huh? <laughs> no, 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 I'm not joking. That, 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 that's really strong. Because what you said is cute. You know, and uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the normalcy is good, but make it light. How do you say that? How do you say I love you? Sarang? Sarang Say it with confidence. Go. Sarang heyo. Yeah. I'm gonna ask Korea. Sure. No, 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 no. You'll get the audience. You'll get the audience. It's not, it's not a serious question about, no, no, no. It's not a, it's not a serious question about, you know, uh, et cetera, et cetera. See, iba iba tayo ng reaction. I, I like it because uh, it reminds you of what? Normalcy. So don't, don't be afraid to add color. Don't be afraid to, to, to remember you're, you're, you're playing to an audience. You're playing to the judges. If I were a judge and you were to say that at the end, I she's in control. I'll keep the mind. Right? All right. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. And next from Pampanga, Serena Kiao, Mini Mini 22. COVID-19 really made us life uneasy um, and what I can see on the photo is online shopping. I myself is an online shopping warder but then let us all remember to those online, shopping, online shoppers just like me that in this time of crisis we must only buy what we need because money is very important in this time of crisis. We should use them wisely and uh, I just also want to leave a message that in these times this is just a test of our spirit and characteristics as well. So let us all be patient until the world comes into its normal state once again. Uh, only because you brought it to the normal state that I liked it, because it implied hope. But otherwise, the online shopping to me is fine. And sana kung hindi mo hihiwala yan, na paalala lamang po uh, na sana ay huwag tayo uh, impulsive shoppers, uh, magtipid din po tayo dahil napakahirap yes. ng pandemic ngayon. Make it normal! Normal. So, sa lahat po ng mga shoppers katulad ko, uh, hinay-hinay po. But, uh, you know, this will be over. I, I, I like that. It's very, uh, that the, the narrative is very clear. Just to show you how different people are, I see the photo, I see the photo, at ang unang unang mga naisip, ay gumagawa siya ng mga bags. Uh, okay. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? That, that's instinct. That, that's instinct. So, I'm sure if I'm going to ask other people, they would say, Ay, siguro ang nanay niya, ang negosyo, mga bagsa. We can, we can do so many stories. Yes. But I like the way you put it. Thank you so much. I like the way you put it. Okay? Again, end strong. End strong, and then clarity is very important. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. And we have Jasmine Lind Makulangan from Albay in Bini 23 next. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Tito Boy. What I'm seeing in the picture is the solidarity and the faith of the people amidst the pandemic. The past year, it has tested our characteristics. It, it has tested our faith. But still, we find ways to go back to God and ask for His guidance and trust His path and His plans for us. Because at the end of the day, we do not have control over what's the outcome. We do not have control over what's going to happen the next day. But we have control over our faith, and that is to God. Thank you. Huwag ba ba ba, ha? Huwag ba ba ba. And that's to God, thank you. May konting drama. That's really good. But girls, just as a tip, during the photo association or the Q&A, ako personally, I was so afraid during the pandemic. I was really so afraid. I was so paranoid. Hanggang ngayon, ang dami ko, I have different kinds of uh, alcohol and different kinds of sterilizers, etc. I, I hang on to a line. You know what Christ said to the apostles? Why are you afraid? Have you no faith? Diba? It's, it's powerful. And then, the other tip that I want to, dis, uh, to, 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 to give you is that the power of now. You know, uh, the power of now. Now is all we have. And if we were to spend that now, it should be at the feet of God. These are lines, these are very strong lines. That the best place right now is at the feet of the Lord. Why are you afraid? Have you no faith? So, 
Kung meron kayong tatandaan ng mga pampapunctuate ng mga sagot, yun yun. Kasi you have a beautiful answer, but how do you end it? You know, as Jesus said to his apostles, Why are you afraid? Have you no faith? Thank you. That's how you phrase it. Have you no faith? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Albay. That's Jashin Lindy Makulangan from Albay, BBB 23. And she's followed by Maria Francesca Taruk from Angeles in Pampanga, BBB 24. Hi, Tito Boy. Hello. Hi, everyone. In this photo, I will focus on the no face mask and no entry signage. And I want to encourage people to always use face masks because it is a great way for us to keep us safe. And I know it is a bit of a hassle because we are having a difficulty in breathing. But if we will continue to follow safety protocols, then we will be able to bounce back to the normal and we will be able to breathe properly and see our beautiful smiles. Thank you. That's very good. That's very good. Why? Uh... You focus on one thing. I will focus on the no face mask, no entry. But you should have concentrated on, let's follow the rules. This is for the good of all of us. Diba? Ito rin yung mga tipong uh, you can react to with a lot of humor. No face mask, no entry. It, nahihirapan man tayo huminga, but it is necessary for us to survive. Ako lang, especially to those boys who are interested with me, no face mask, no entry to my heart. Thank you. <laughs> Girls, don't be afraid. Huh? Kung, kung carry, don't be afraid. A joke. I, I still am looking for, for, you know, for candidates who can actually go beyond it. When you go beyond the comfort zone, and, pero that's dangerous. Kasi pag nagbiro ka, tapos sumemplan ka, you lose it. Pero uh, th these, are, these are very tempting lines. No face mask, no entry. To my heart. Thank you. But you get my point? Kung kaya lang, ha? Kung kaya lang. Otherwise, stay safe. Thank you. Thank you, Tito Boy. <laughs> Thank you very much, Francesca. And from Rizal, Honey Grace Cartazano, Bini Bini 25. Hello, boy. Hello. Hey, everyone. I believe that this photo is from India. These scenes of suffering in India is heartbreaking. But I believe that their government and its people is doing its best to control the COVID surge. And now, as the COVID-19 is devastating India, let us include them in our prayers as a sign of support to them. Because I believe that now we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. And together, as they work hand in hand in the world, we can all get through this. Thank you. I like it. Very good. Uh, very good. A strong end. Uh, the India story. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, meron lang mga pagkakataon na, am I still there? You know what I'm saying? Am I still there? As a judge, I know that. I, I know that. But you, you pull it through. You pull it through. Okay? Uh, address the nerves. I'm going to do this. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Honey, Grace Cartasano <laughs> from Arai Pampanga, Nariza May Valerio, BDB 26. Hi, everyone. This picture represents myself during the ECQ. I've used my time to improve more of myself and also to know more of my imperfections. And I believe that as persons, it is normal that we are not perfect. That is a fact of life. And during this pandemic, we, it may put the world on halt, but it reminded us that things do not end here and that there are more things to look forward to. Thank you. Wow, wow, <laughs> Thank you. I like that. Uh, discovering things that you can do. But look at the photo. Look at the photo. I can paint. 
It may not be the most beautiful painting, but it's mine, that's why it's beautiful, and I still find time to talk to my boyfriend, if you notice. <laughs> You're on the phone. It's something that, you know, uh, we, we are, uh, we, we adapt. We're resilient. We can adjust. And I know in my heart that this too shall pass. Believe me. All we have to do is believe, and it shall happen. Thank you. But don't go down and get lost. Okay? All right. Next. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. From Oriental Mindoro, Graciela Liman, Bini Bini 27. Hello, Peter Boy. Hello, Hello, everybody. What I can see from the picture is a jeepney, as well as passengers with plastic dividers. And one of the most affected sectors here during the pandemic are our local drivers, as well as the commuters. And it is truly saddening that no matter how we fight it, it has taken a heavy toll on them. And this is a clear example of a simple effort from a small sector. And this is something that we should emulate. Together, let's do our part. And if we collectively come together as a community, we can achieve herd immunity. Thank you. I like that. I really like that. I, I like it. It's, 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 it's sure. It's, it's really sure. It's, um, yeah. Uh, but you're, you're very, well, not verbose, but you're very eloquent. Go on an adventure. You can go beyond that. And I where one is texting, the other one seems to be nervous, the other one is looking. Go to the photo. You know, people will appreciate that. And also, girls, uh, when you repeat things, we're going to survive this. We're going to survive this. Thank you. That's good for dramatic impact. It's very good for dramatic impact, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And next up, we have Danica Joy Acuna, BDB28 from Romblon. Hello everyone, hello Tito Boy. Hi. Um, this photo is very heartbreaking for me to see those people um, living in the streets after they experience fire. This makes me um, realize that I have to count my blessings in life and that I can help those people whenever I can, whenever I have the opportunity, I could lend the lending, I could lend a hand to them and help them ease in their situation. So I hope that um, we could all, uh, we could all. Uh, That's okay. Sing it out. We could all help one another, use our Bayanihan to help. People who people who experience calamities like this. Thank okay. You. Either either you 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 went there. Maganda na yung yung I count my blessings. I count my blessings para hindi ka ma maguluhan. I count my blessings because the thought pat pattern has changed from uh, heartbreaking the photo, and because of the photo, I remember how grateful I am uh, because I, uh, uh, I I live in gratitude. I live in gratitude. So uh, you, could, you, you can proceed to talking about living in gratitude or you can go to what, what, what you did. But you have to be sure. Kasi doon ka mahuhuli. Girls, when you answer, there's a beginning, there's a middle, and there's an end. Okay? You were okay with that one, with that two, how do I wrap it up? Okay. And wrapping up more is uh, helping each other, etc., etc. No wala ka doon because you're in the gratitude pitch. Pwede mo ituloy niyan na grateful. Pwede mo rin ibalik na sana wala na tayong makitang ganitong litrato. And how can we do that? Just by helping each other. Or just giving. Or just sharing. And living in gratitude. Pa para tumuli ka na sa gratitude, dahil nasabi mo na yung heartbreak. You, you, you get my point in terms of structure? Uh, para hindi ka lang malito. All right, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Romblon. Thank you very much, Danica Joy, and we have Alexandra Faith Garcia 
from Olongapo City, Binibini 29. Hi, Tito Boy. Hello. And hi, everyone. What I can see in the photo is a child who is studying. I could really see my father doing that because my dad had recently graduated with his doctoral degree last week. And I am very proud of him because even though he experienced mild stroke, he still pursues whatever dreams he has in, in his life. So I am very proud of him. And I must say that we should always look to the things that we really want in life and we need to pursue it. Thank you so much. I like the father ta. Uh, nakita nyo guys, bata, pero dinala niya sa tatay niya. This is okay. And she, she became very comfortable. Technique ka, when you answer a question, halimbawa, how is this going to be done? A judge is going to ask or the host is going to ask? Would you know? Not yet. Not yet. Halimbawa, if a judge is going to ask, you can, you can begin by answering to the judge. Blah, 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 blah. And then address the audience. Or if you want to concentrate on the judge, just go to the judge. How do you handle para hindi kayo masyadong ninenervyos when you look at an audience? Hindi ang tingin mata. Ang tingin dito. Okay? Tingnan mo sa mga taas. No, no, no eye contact. But sa camera at sa live, akala mo nakatingin ka sa mata. But that lessens the nerves. Okay, but if you can look at people straight to the eyes, I have no problem. Pero that's a technique. You know, you look at yung dito, oh, no, wala naman akong buhok. Pero yung, you know, you look at that, that one. Hi, how are you doing? You wouldn't notice if I'm looking at you in the eye. Para lang mabawasan yung nerves. I like the fact that uh, you used your father's story. Your father, naalala ko ang aking tatay. Naalala ko ang aking tatay. But it might not impress other judges because the photo is very powerful. The photo is very powerful, di ba? Yung uh, ilang bata pa ba ang mag-aaral ng ganito? Ilang bata pa ba ang mag-aaral uh, sumulat, magbasa sa kalye, madilim? This is very emotional. Eh. Yung parang, I just want to remind all of us a good ending, ha? What are we doing with our children in this country? Thank you. Thank you, Tito Boy. Diba? political talaga. Alright, thank you very much. Mercedes Fair, BDB30 from Cebu. Hello, Tito Boy. Hello. When I see this photo, I'm super happy because I'm also doing a 100-day challenge, which is working out at home for 100 days. I believe that a habit takes 21 days to build and then seeing this that people are actually being flexible although gyms are closed but they're being flexible and adapting to changes we can go on just um, social media and to look for home workouts that's what i'm doing so we can stay physically fit and it will also eventually help us mentally and be happy thank you okay kulang lang covid hope you know, it, it gives me hope, you know, it's, it's blah, 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 we can do anything and we'll be back, you know. Wag nilang kalilimutan because judges may be looking for the question, you know, that you have to talk about the pandemic and the hope. But I was fine with that. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much. Mercedes Fair from Agoncillo, Batangas. Mike Rosal, Mini Mini 30 more. This picture shows um, social distancing. <laughs> this pandemic, we have a lot of health protocols that we need to follow, and one of those is social distancing. I believe that we, if we follow those protocols and we stay safe, we can help not only our, ourselves but also our family. Let us continue to be an example of um, good citizens who follow protocols and be disciplined enough so that we can combat COVID-19. Okay, N nice. I mean, I, but, but again, it's the, the, the usual lines. Uh, uh, you, you, you can react to that, girls. If you, if you see something like this, ako parang sabi ko, ay, napaka straight body naman nilang dalawa. Pero I love you this much, no? Pero uh, puso, puso, always, forever. So just work around it. Uh, in the time of pandemic, in the time of pandemic, you can love always, 
You can love forever. This virus is not going to control love. Even if we observe physical distancing, even if we wear masks, even if we wear face shields, love is stronger than the virus. Love no no distance. Oh, no. I love it. I love it. Love knows no physical distancing. That gives me hope. I, I love that. Love knows no physical distancing. Love conquers all. And this virus is no match to love. I thank you. Salamat. Thank you, Paul. All right. Salamat, Maika Rosal from Agoncillo, Batangas. From Tagum City, BDB32, Leslie Antica. Good afternoon, Tito Boy. Hello. Uh, seeing this picture makes my heart excited since I haven't been in a real concert before. So I always um, witness concert and videos, YouTube videos. And I'm hopeful that after this pandemic, I can enjoy a concert with my friend. That's okay. But you were on the right track. I haven't seen a concert. I look forward. I'm hopeful that after the pandemic, blah, 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 blah. End it long with, I promise myself that the first concert that comes to my town or to Manila, I'm going to watch it. Thank you. It doesn't have to be malalim, huh? It doesn't have to be malalim. You were there. You were there. But the problem was, how do I end this? You know, again, I would like to remind you that a long answer is not tantamount to a wonderful answer. You expressed it in three, four, five lines, end. All right. Thank you, Madam Salama. Hello. Hello. So what I can see in this picture is swab testing. I truly believe that getting tested is very important to help stop the spread of the virus. And I am happy that Bilibini always um, uh, makes us uh, get antigen tests whenever there are activities because I believe that if we get tested, we will be able to protect one another. And if we can protect one another, then we can see um, one another. So I hope and I encourage everyone to get tested. If you feel that you have a symptom because no one is safe until everyone is safe. So testing is very important. Thank you. I, I like it. Natakot lang ako dun sa repetition ng testing, no? Because you were extending, you were making very important points already. And girls, meron pa naman kayong tendency that you don't know when to end. Uh, when you make a point, you wanna make another point. At kadalasan dun kayo sumisend lang. Uh, when you've made a point and if you feel that you've answered, for God's sake, end it. Oh, uh, pumunta ka na dun sa blah 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 blah. I thank you. Okay. Good, thanks, Ms. Zamboanga. And now we have Honey Bear Pareñas from Sultan Kudarat, Bini Bini, 34. Hello, everyone. So I can see a shopping mall without shoppers or an <laughs> empty shopping mall. And for me, this represents the impact of the pandemic to our commercial industry. A lot of people lost their jobs. And a lot of people are struggling to get back on their feet. That is why we need to be responsible citizens. Because through being responsible citizens, we can get back to what we used to and save our commercial industry, our food industry, and all the sectors in our country. Thank you. That's very low. Don't say thank you. Tasmo. Thank you. Higher. Thank you. There! That's how it is. So, you know, I always say, girls, sound right, sound right, sound right. You know, regardless of what you said, it's, it has been, it had been said. So, hindi yung sarili mo, ikinakahiya mo yung sagot mo. You know why? Blah, blah, blah. I, I, Sorry for the word I fucked up. And then you say, thank you. But are you so apologetic? 
Uh, whatever you said, you say, thank you. <laughs> Di ba? Malay mo yung thank you na yan ang magpapanalo pa sa'yo. Thank you, Mr. Tancodara. Okay. I just have a couple of points. No, I just want to... Uh, girls, I want to remind you. Use your language of convenience. English is very tricky. Uh, hindi yan, Ms. Sultan Kudarat was not aware, for example, that she said feats. Uh, pag judge ka at pag audience ka, you know how heckling has been a lifestyle in this country. Maling Ingles, feats daw. Okay. This is a whole course of some words na bigla ka na lang, uh, why are they laughing? You know, the, the past tense, the future tense, the present tense. Kaya, pag hindi ma-avoid na yun talaga ang gusto niyong gawin, say it like tama. Oh, say it like tama. Yeah. Oh, fake it till you make it. Okay? That's my first my technique. The art of repetition is very powerful. The art of repetition is very powerful. Looking at this photo makes me cry. Looking at this photo reminds me of my childhood. Looking at this photo reminds me when I was hungry. Really, no? Looking at this photo, looking at this photo, looking at this photo, repetition is dramatic. Pag umpisa, ang tinatawag niyan, that's the anaphora. Epistrophe ang dulo. But let's not go technical. But if you want to be if you want to create impact, the act of repetition is powerful. You get my point? Okay, matatapot. It's, it's uh, the art of repetition. And then, okay, mental block. In the middle of an answer, some of you may say, Tito Boy, nawawala ko. Hindi ko alam kung saan ako pupunta. Med medyo uh, tinimplate ko ang sarili ko kasi na, etc. No, I, I talk about templating because I want to do real talk. I know you guys prepare, and that's not bad. That's not bad. But what is better is to be real. Okay. In public speaking, we have an exercise that's called make, make sense. And, and girls, when you mispronounce a word, pag na bisaya ka, don't die there. Okay? Don't. Kasi halimbawa, kami mga bisaya kami. May, may dapu kababayan din eh. Uh, may mga bisaya. When you mispronounce a word, just say it again. That's okay. Uh, the pandemic, um, smile a bit and say the pandemic. Pronounce it correctly. But don't die because no word defines your brains. At simple yan. Na, na, na intindihan niyo ako? No word should make you lose. Recover. Recover fast. Smile and say the word. The pandemic, rather, you get me? In control. Okay. Make sense is an exercise. What do you see? Using your senses. What do you hear? What do you taste? Ano ba? Hearing. What do you feel? Etc. Use your senses. Give me an example, girl. Uh, girls of... A okay. For example, uh, what is in the photo is... Um, you, you use your senses. What do you see? A boy studying. Nag-aaral po sa labas. Gamit-gamit, hindi nga besa eh. Bang po. How? What, what are you smelling? Wala ka. Siguro, uh, dinadaan-daanan siya ng mga tricycle, saka ng mga sasakyan, pero hindi niya iniinda. Patuloy pa rin ang kanyang pag-aaral. Ang ingay siguro, dahil nasa labas siya ng bahay. Hearing. Taste omitted. But what do you feel? My heart is just bleeding watching this photo. Sana wala nang bata ang pagdaanan ito. But what can I do? What can I do? I will do the best I can as a queen. I'll do the best as I can, do the best I can as a queen. That one day, I'll be able to touch children's lives. At sanay, wala nang bata ang mga You know, use your senses. Di ka mawawala. Use your senses. What do you see? What do you smell? 
What do you hear? What do you taste? How do you feel? You get me, girls? Oh, kasi kung, kung lilituhin nyo, if you were going to confuse yourself with a uh, standard line here, hindi. Use your senses. Pagtagalog ka, uh, ang nakikita ko, kung lang sa association, what do you see? And how are you reacting? Get it? Okay. Uh, one of the best ways to answer a question is doing a listicle. Listahan. Kylie used it in Miss International. We call that the power of three. Ask me a question. Ask me a question. Any question. Halimbawa, beauty queen, ako kunyari. Ask me a question. Yes. Uh, San Fernando. Ask me any question. Top of mind. What makes me beautiful? One, because I truly believe that I am beautiful. Number two, Nana used to tell me that. That boy, you're beautiful. And I believed him. Number three, I am beautiful. But if you can't see it, it's not my problem. Thank you. I, I use number one, number two, number three. That's the power of three. And technically, that's called the listicle. Ang iba niyan, may five. The power of five. May iba, the power of two. Kasi, pag ginagamitan niyo ng listahan o the power of three, klaro ang sagot. Pero, you have to be smart enough to say, ito yon number one, number two, number three, I thank you. Kung Q&A, aralin niyo yan, ha? The power of three and the listicle. And then, uh, you study more than the templated answers. You go to the famous sayings. How do you master singing? How do you become a beauty queen? How do you become, what makes you win? What qualifies you to be the next Miss International, etc. Wala naman tama doon na sagot eh. Pero, merong mga, merong mga insights, no? Halimbawa, the 10,000 hours principle. You can only master some, something after 10,000 hours. I'll be very honest tonight. I have spent more, not just 10,000 hours to get to where I am today, to deserve the crown. Not 10,000 hours, but a whole lifetime. Thank you. You get it, girl? <laughs> you get it. You get it. And last note, after everything is said and done, when you're on stage, let go and pray. And say that, Lord, I am yours. Thank you, girls. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our 34 gorgeous candidates together with our special guest and Q&A mentor, Mr. Boy Abunda. Once again, thank you, Tito Boy, for lending your time and preparing our candidates as they get ready to snatch one of this year's mini Filipinas crowns. And our pre-pageant mentorship exercise does not end here. Aside from Tito Boy, one more expert would like to give some words of wisdom and share some first-hand insights to further help the girls in facing the Q&A round. Who could this be? Candidates, ladies and gentlemen, let us watch this. Hey, Beanie Beanies! I hope that you're all doing well. I'm so sorry that I can't be there with you, but wow, what a long journey this has been for each and every one of you. I know that you've gone through so many different challenges and obstacles, all in pursuit of your dream to represent our beautiful country on the international stage as Beanie Beanies. I'm wishing you the best of luck in these last couple of days. Some of you might be feeling a little bit incredulous that the finals is finally so near and some of you might be nervous but i want to encourage you take these last few days to really allow to sink in why you are here why are you in pursuit of this dream is it for yourself your family your community is it because your dream is to represent our beautiful country hold tight to that okay because that is what's going to get you through those tough moments and take these last few days to prepare and i just want to take a small moment to shout out to to all of your wonderful teams who have allowed you to be your best during this time that we're facing please keep them in your um, minds as seeing as 
all the effort they've poured into you and all the things that they've done to allow you to come this far. I know that I would be nothing without my team, so I just wanted to take this moment to really thank them also. And to the Beanie Beanie organization, thank you for guiding our girls. I wanted to put a quick shout out there for you guys also, Sir Hines, Tita Liliana, and all of the crew. Thank you for doing what you do to keep Beanie Beanie such a prestigious pageant, even amongst trying times. So girls, are you ready? The finals night is coming up. Always keep your hearts directed in the right place. And good luck. I'll see you on the finals night. Keep shining and stay safe. All right, thank you very much. And you heard those words straight from Marvis Universe 2018, Beanie Beanie, Catriona Gray. Kat, thank you very much for sharing your valuable thoughts. And we will see you on the Grand Coronation Night and that answers special presentation here at the Cinema 5 Atmos of Gateway Mall. Thank you also to our partners, Araneta City, the city of firsts, World Balance, the official active lifestyle footwear. Jag Jeans. Manhattan Gardens by Mega World Corporation. Silka. The official skincare partner. Walang Duda. Alagang Silka. Everbelena Cosmetics Inc. The official makeup. Petron. Kasabay sa Lakbay. Pizza Hut. Dairy Queen and Taco Bell. Special thanks to our service sponsors. Manila Bulletin. The official print partner. Novotel Manila Araneta City, Dale Carnegie, Raymond Saldana Photography, Jojo Bragais Shoes, Gold's Gym, International Sanitation and Protection Suppliers, Equinox Manila, MaxiCare, the COVID testing partner of our Binibini Filipinas candidates, Dom's Rama Swimwear, Picture City, and Bruce Casanova Photography. Thanks also to our media partners, Click the City, Mellow 94.7 and IFM 93.9. Watch our lovely candidates as they shine in the Grand Coronation Night of Binibining Pilipinas 2021 on July 11, Sunday evening at the Smart Araneta Coliseum. Get to know our best in national costume winner and our next set of queens via A to Z, Capamilia Channel, I Want TFC, Metro Channel, or the official Binibini Pilipinas YouTube page. Follow the Binibini Pilipinas Facebook page for more updates on this year's pageant. Thank you for watching and have a beautiful day!